Assalamualaikum. My name is Wan Shafika Alim with Mazwin. So this is the result for my lab test. So this is the letter diagram. So um, as we can see, uh, this is the first one. So this is uh, what I call the latching circuit. So I'm going to run this letter diagram. All right. So uh, we have four sensors, the high level for storage tank and the feeder tank, and also the low level for the storage tank and the feeder tank. So uh, this is the start button. So I'm going to start the cycle. So um, this is the low level sensor. Sorry, the two is typo here. So the low level um, sensor. So whenever one of the low level sensor is turned on or is detected here, like here or here, so the inlet valve will be on, will be automatically on. So I'm going to show this, for example, this one. So it will be on. All right. So what happened if both is also the same? So both will be on. And so this is the high level sensor. This one, high level sensor for the storage tank and the for the, and for the feeder tank. So um, in order to turn off the inlet valve, like automatically off, okay, when both of the high level sensor is detected or turned on, the inlet valve here will be automatically off. So I'm going to show this. So, so this is when I turn on the high level sensor, uh, the high level sensor for the storage tank. So it's here. So and the inlet valve is still on. So I'm going to turn on the high level sensor for the feeder tank. So both high level sensor is turned on. So the inlet valve will be automatically off. So uh, what happened to the outlet valve? So the outlet valve is semi-automatic and it will be only, uh, it will only can be controlled um, whenever the high level, uh, when both high level sensor is turned on. So basically I can control it with it off it here. So this is on, so this is when I turn it off. The outlet level is depends because it's semi-automated, but it only can be controlled whenever both high level sensor is turned on. So that's it for the explanation for my uh, lab test. All right, thank you.